The monster Angus Thick Burger is tempting you with sizzling bacon and one third pound Angus beef patties. Get close to the screen. Focus. Unfocus. Looks like you'll do anything for the monster. The new monster Angus Thick Burger at Carl's Jr. Feed your happy. Try to do 110% and it goes 109 to 111. It's really pissing me off. I love being here. They love football in this town. And they love what the Bills have done. Started 4 0, lost a couple, and now they've won five in the last six. And when they beat San Francisco Monday night, Chris, Josh Allen, their third year quarterback, may have played the best game of his young career. He looked like an MVP, didn't yeah, he? But you want to be the best, you have to beat the best. And right now, the Pittsburgh Steelers, number one scoring defense, number one in getting sacks. So, how good is Josh Allen? We're about to find out. Well, let's talk about Pittsburgh. We were there for that Wednesday game 12 days ago. They beat Baltimore, got to 11-0, but they lost to Washington on Monday. And the offense is looking a little one-dimensional. The defense is banged up. Reason for concern? I think so, a little bit. It feels like they've lost a little bit of their identity. They only rushed for 21 yards in that game. They couldn't convert on third and one or down on the goal line. They do get James Conner back tonight, so maybe along with him they'll get a little bit of that identity. Ready for it. Best matchup of this Sunday in the NFL division leaders playoff implications. Bills and Steelers coming up on Sunday Night Football. Sunday Night Football is brought to you by the all-new Elantra and by Liberty Mutual Insurance. Only pay for what you need. Plus 4K Skycam. Get more out of game day and the holidays with Walmart Plus, a new membership with free delivery on groceries and more. If it happens on the field, we're talking about it here. I mean, Aaron Rodgers, yes, what he did again last night, that was video game stuff. Get the most in-depth NFL analysis all season long. I have seen the Patriots go up against Patrick Mahomes multiple times. I don't know how you stop them. Download the NBC Sports app today and get everything you need to keep you in the game. Sports, celebrating 15 seasons of Sunday Night Football, welcomes you to the following presentation of the National Football League. I've heard when a storm's coming, people in Buffalo just shrug. I guess they've seen enough of them before. But before I was Broadway Joe, I grew up in Steeler Nation. 
I know a black and yellow blizzard when I see it. Take a beer and intercept it! And this one's real angry. The Steelers are beaten on has come to an end. But listen, I've seen them play too. Josh Allen delivers a coin right through the slot. And his team is ready for prime time. Two storms are heading right for each other. Steelers, Bill, Sunday night football. Broadway Joe set the table here in Buffalo. There's no storm, a little bit of weather in the air. All right, so the Chiefs went over Miami, had implications for both teams. They got Pittsburgh into the playoffs. They've clinched, but now they have to win tonight to get back ahead of KC for the number one seed. Buffalo will have a chance to go up two with three remaining and closing on Pittsburgh if they get the win tonight. Let's get more on how the Steelers are trying to fix what's been ailing them. And here's Catherine Tapper. Over the last six weeks, the Steelers haven't run the ball very well, or for that matter, very often. That led to Mike Tomlin putting his team back in pads for Friday's practice, where goal line and short yardage runs were drilled. Tomlin said he wanted to recreate the muscle memory that it takes to execute in those situations, and as he put it, sharpen their tools. Tonight, Tomlin gets back two key members of the rushing attack in eight-time Pro Bowl center Marquise Pouncey and leading rusher James Conner, both activated this week off the COVID-19 reserve list. Ben Roethlisberger also emphasized the need to run the ball, especially at this time of year, and he thought that Conner and Pouncey would bring that extra juice tonight, Mike. Did you say this time of year, Catherine? On cue about an hour and a half ago, a little bit of wind across the lake, so some south town lake effect snow flurries we're not going to shovel it or plow it when the day is done but it's 32 it just adds to the atmosphere of the night sean mcdermott's become very used to the weather and very used to everything here and they are loving what he has brought to buffalo in his four seasons twice to the playoffs trying to close out the division for the first time in 25 years over the next couple of weeks of course, Chris, the neat thing about this matchup is you have McDermott and you have Mike Tomlin. They were college teammates. They've known each other for a quarter century, so it just adds to the juice and the storyline for this one. Teammates, how about that? It really is amazing. But, Mike, this is one of those games, right? Yeah. This is one of those we're going to find out about these two football teams. Is Buffalo really ready to ascend to that upper tier of teams here? And are the Pittsburgh Steelers, was that just a one-game aberration? Or are we starting to see something happen here? They've got some injuries on defense. This is a game. You saw Tyler Bass. He's kicking to Ray Ray McLeod as the Bills won the toss to defer the option the second half. And off we go from Orchard Park. Ray Ray's going to bring it from about six deep. And he's not going to get very far. Right down to the 10, the former Steeler, Tyler Matikevich.